Nutters, it's your boy Marcus, and I'm back in black. Today, we gotta cover two of the best and worst thieves I've seen in the news this year. But these stories are super interesting. Coming up next. And like and subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell so that you are notified every time we drop a new video which is either gonna be monday or friday of course all right and you know what hit us with that super like all right we greatly appreciate it and check out these mix ups friends all right these guys are super talented they're available on all platforms you can check us out on instagram that's that mix nuts 3000 again that mix nuts 3000 run it So this first story, all right, is like directly out of a cartoon or like Metal Gear Solid from back in the day with the box. But anyway, let's take a look at the video. Good evening, I'm Laura Painter. And I'm Chris Thomas. There's something you have to see to believe. Just take a look. There you see that person covered in a trash bag taking that small package from this doorstep in Glenwood Meadows. ABC 10's Luke Clary spoke to the homeowner tonight about this caught on camera moment. The joys of home ownership. From lawn care to setting up your own security system. This one is the one that record the, the people still in the package. First time Sacramento homeowner Omar Munoz is getting a crash course into the risks of package delivery. I was at work and I received the notification on my phone that I had a package and when I got home I didn't see the package. Good thing he caught it all on camera. You probably think you know where this is going, right? Porch pirates, the kinds of people who conceal their identity to steal a city and steal your stuff right off of your front doorstep. But I promise you, you have never seen anything quite like this. So I see the bag coming to my door. Unreal, a porch pirate in a trash bag. At first I thought they were messing with me, but when I got home, I see no package. I look around and I... I... Bruh, I can't even believe that works. This man put a garbage bag on himself, walked up to the camera. <laughs> Walked up to the porch and viewed the camera, placed the bag over the box, bounced. It's so simple, it seemed like it shouldn't work because all he did with that camera at his house was catch the ridiculousness of the steal. Like, I don't even know, what's up with these porch pirates, man? Why are you just grabbing random shit off of people's front lawn? Like, what's wrong with you, bro? Like, also, like... You didn't put on garbage bags or whatever. What if they were home? They came out and just, you in a bag, bro. You can't defend yourself like that. I mean, that's easy pickings. But the fact that it actually worked. And then it was so ridiculous that even the homeowner thought, like, somebody got to be messing with me. Like, he probably thought, this got to be, like, my cousin or something. You know what I mean? Like, or like your brother or somebody came by and it just saw that and decided to do it or whatever. But, like... Here's the thing, where did he get the trash bag from? And like, if he had it on him and it was empty, like why do you have just a random trash bag? Like, like if you're just driving around, are you walking down the street with the trash bag? Did you, after the, did you walk far enough and then take the bag off? Like how does this even work? I really wish we can get in touch with the, the actual dude that stole it, just cause so, so you could just pick his brain. Like, did you think you were uh, Ocean's Eleven? This is the pettiest crime. It's the pettiest crime, but it's also the pettiest way to do it I've ever seen, all right? And the next story is, is is on a whole nother level, all right? All right, so I, I, you know what? I, I'm not even going to get into that. What I'm going to do, though, is play this video so y'all can see the, the Ocean's Eleven shit we're talking about. 
of a plane warehouse. The only clue of what the warehouse might contain? The armored cars in the parking lot. This is Garda World, offering end-to-end -end worry free cash management, according to their website. But even this Garda World employee, who did not want his face shown, had no idea what was inside the building. I didn't even know there was $30 million, whatever the amount is, in that building. Uh, it's just a shocker. $30 million cash stolen from this building Easter Sunday. LAPD and FBI are working together on the investigation and turned down our request for an interview. But there's been reports that the burglars dropped down into the building and cut their way out on the side. It, it actually sounds like a movie. Stacy Porter is retired Homeland Security. He now provides security assessments for businesses and airports. We have one time to get it right, but nothing is 100%. Porter and others wonder how the crooks could come and go undetected. Again, the anonymous. All right, so you see that these boys got away with 30 mil, son. $30 million. Like, you got to love that. $30 million, bro. Like, where? Like, out of a warehouse. And then, like, they even had the employee talking. He didn't even know it was that kind of money in there. But that seemed kind of suspicious. Somebody knew and tipped somebody off. That building looked extra regular, bro. It looked like you would go in there and find, like, I don't know, oxygen tanks or something. But they got in there clean through the roof, cut a hole out the side, dipped. Nobody, before anybody even really knew, right? And this happened on Easter Sunday, so they knew everybody would be elsewhere. Uh, this is amazing. Hopefully, they not only plan the robbery, but they plan the escape. Uh, you see a lot of criminals, um, especially who like rob banks or do robberies or whatever, they plan the actual action itself, but not the getting away portion of it. And, you know, not to root for the bad guy, but whenever you see somebody do, do the wrong thing the right way, it is kind of exciting like a movie though, right? 30 million. Ooh, didn't leave no man behind, no evidence. Ooh, then now they may get caught, but as, as long as they bounce, they got a, a hell of a head run. You know what I'm saying? They can really get far. And if they keep it low key, it might just be an unsolved mystery. All right, if they catch one of them, everybody going down. But that's where the planning comes in. So I'm thinking, so far the planning was on point. Through the roof, out the side, on a major holiday. And of course there's no witnesses. This is a major holiday. People are off. That was damn near genius. Damn near 30 million. Now that is the kind of money where you might gamble getting in trouble with the law. But the dude with the garbage bag that stole some shit off somebody's front porch. And you know, it might be fucking vitamins in there, bro. I order shit off of Amazon. Sometimes it's just, it'd be like random shit. Like it'd be like uh, daily vitamins or something. You're gonna risk going to jail being on camera for some daily vitamins or whatever's in there i mean i don't order weird shit bro like batteries it could be whatever if it's cheaper on there i'll get it from there so it'd be like random household goods it's very rarely if ever something of like any gigantic value definitely not that's gonna be like well now that i got this box i'll never have to work again like you need to go to if you're gonna do dirt at least go all the way with it man do it like these boys go through the roof to that 30 mil and walk off all right, make it worth it, bro. Don't be no petty criminal, you know, with a garbage bag disguise. Come on, now, don't be gross with it. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah, he got away with it, but it's just, it was just stupid. You know what I mean? Like the level of brokenness in that, mm, there's no respect for that. You know, you go to jail for impersonating a garbage bag and stealing, <sighs> not gangster. Alright, mixed nutters. That is it for me today. I'm about to make like a baby and head out. If you want to support the channel, go to buymeacoffee.com slash mixed nuts. We got new videos coming every Monday or Friday, of course. And you can check us out on uh, Instagram at mixed nuts 3000. Again, that mixed nuts 3000. And until next time.